Okay, I made this little album and it was really easy to make. I used a tutorial from uh, YouTube and I think it's my sister's scrapper, I'll link it below. But it's a tri-fold album and it actually you can fit a ton of photos into it. Um, before I start, I'll tell you I use this just chipboard, white and black cardstock and then this paper pack and I still have a ton of paper left. Um, at least one of everything, not more. And then I used some of this washi from Little Bee. I think I got this from I got this from Joann's. I think I got this from Joann's. And I um, here's some things I didn't use. Most of it I got it from Hobby Lobby though. I got this from Hobby Lobby. You get those half off. I made these some tabs out of this. Which I'll show you. This from was from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. You'll see I use one of those. I did not use that. I thought that's another Little Bee. I think Joann's sells those. Hobby Lobby had those half off. This was the one thing I got at Michael's, but you know, they sell these kind of flowers at any craft store. They have these little guys, so I kind of did like a fox theme with some turquoise and black and stuff. This is uh, some little bows I used. So it's a flea market section Hobby Lobby spare parts. I didn't use those, but I might later. The flea market. These little sticky sequins, I used some of those, and you see, I think this was like 60 cents because some of them had fallen off, so used a few of these little guys, so I still have, as you can see, tons of stuff left um, for flea market section again that I can use on other albums. So I'm going to walk you through this one though. Okay, so this is the cover and I'm going to eventually put a title and maybe some flowers and stuff once I figure out what trip I'm using this for or if I'm gifting this. I'll probably keep that though. And then I did this on the binding. Both bindings are kind of the same and I did mount all of the outside with black cardstock even though I wrapped everything with white cardstock just because this is gold it's kind of hard to see there you go and I have like a clip up here that goes on the inside too that I could clip something to the back if I wanted but I don't know but I might put like the date on the spine or something like that so then it opens up like this and there's a pocket here and this is one of those clips from Hobby Lobby's planner section all of this paper is from that pack and all of these cards are from paper in that pack like there's one page that had little cards all different sizes and so I'm going to add photos and the left places to journal and then you just use that clip so it doesn't slide around which I have one album that I have a pocket like this and you go add a clip to it because that solves the problem and um, just stapled some ribbon at the top of that card and I use a lot of these are my scraps then this is the back cover and I could put a large photo there and journal there and that little fox is from Hobby Lobby these are the flowers from Michaels. This is the back side and these little pockets. These are those stickers I turned into my tabs. And front and back, again journaling and photo spots. So all the paper though is from that one pack and I still have, like I said, more than half of the paper left. And then the black and white is not from the pack. I just got it separate. There's those Little sticky sequins then this is the middle and it opens up like this so on the inside cover there's I left just real big sections this one I clipped on but you could journal on that again it's kind of hard to see but it's gold and then each of these flaps have a big card inside so I can put larger photos which is the nice thing about this album but larger photos and then later and then this is the back flap. It has a pocket. And these were some of the stickers. I just made some bands out of the um, paper scraps. This is a tag. The ribbon from Hobby Lobby. Card. And then this little booklet. That's that washi, I think. It's called Little Bee. But I think I got that at Joanne's, though. I was just looking for fox things. And then this is the front of that pack. And it has made another little book. This little guy is just a card. And then a little tag I made. So you can add photos and all kinds of things to that. So I am going to probably take a weekend trip sometime and use this to journal it. And so I'll be ready to go. So very, very easy. And it measures just about 10 the 10 by 7 when it's closed so definitely can fit some of those 4 by 6 photos in